New Model Y in 150 seconds from Giga Berlin. Video that I'm going to show you speaks for high production in the German Tesla factory, friends. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. So on the side for Giga Berlin in Grünheide near Berlin, construction is now being carried out twice. In several places, their workers were still building roads or completing the square battery building on Wednesday. At the same time, however, Tesla Model Y was produced in the long main building of the Gigafactory Berlin, as can be seen from a drone video from Tobias Lind. Our friend observer Tobias Lind, who tweets at Toby Lind, timed how much time passed before one of these Model Ys rolled out the next one from the factory. It was about two and a half minutes, which would mean that extrapolated to 1,000 Model Ys per week. So, is it safe? to say that Tesla is now making 1,000 Tesla model uh, wise per week at Giga Berlin. This is about the right number which I reported last week saying that Tesla will be building the, about 30,000 model wise by mid-year. Now, this is how new model wise roll out from Giga Berlin. With the delivery day for the handover of the first 30 model wise from Grunheide last week, the Tesla Giga Berlin factory officially started operations. And the factory had previously produced hundreds of electric cars on a test basis, but they were not allowed to be sold as I've reported previously because they were not for sale, but for testing purposes. I honestly don't know what Tesla will do with these vehicles and there is no word. Maybe I will ask on Twitter to Elon Musk if he can tell us what Tesla will do with these vehicles, maybe put them in showrooms, but I'm not sure if he will respond. Uh, but with the regular start, the work there is far from over. The start of Model Y production is relatively easy. Explain Tesla CEO Elon Musk last October at a Giga Festival for fans and the local population. The subsequent ramp up was the difficult part. And now Tesla is in that subsequent ramp up for Model Y production. After all, the delays in getting the final Giga Berlin approval for Tesla gave Tesla more time to prepare for this phase of ramping up phase. And so the beginning of serious production seems to be running smoothly at Giga Berlin. In this Wednesday's video by Toby Lind, dozens of Model Ys are parked in multiple locations around the site, most on a newly paved area. In addition, several electric cars, probably freshly produced, came out of the Giga factory under drone observation, which then drove out to the uh, picture through a busy construction site and logistics traffic. I will have the entire video link in the description of this video so you can see I'm only allowed by Tobias to use about three uh, minute segment from the video. Now a total of three black model Ys can be seen existing, actually exiting the Gigafactory Berlin one after the other from an exit in the middle of the long east side. The time lapse video does not show how much time passes between them but Toby Lynn stopped it. it took about 2 minutes and 30 seconds for one Tesla to be followed by the next, Ex uh, extrapolated to 8 hours, this results in 192 model Ys per working day and around 1000 units in 5 day week, which comes down basically to 30,000 model Ys by July 2021. Friends, of course, it is not clear whether this production speed can be maintained for a whole day. Uh, Toby Lind, Tess, uh, Tobias assumed the footage would show the lines inside the Gigafactory building running at reasonable speeds, but believed they were still occasionally stopped in between, reports Tesla Mag in Germany. In any case, 1000 Model Y vehicles from Giga Berlin should be an interim goal that Tesla has set itself. Up to 500,000 units per year are applied for and improved, which would amount to around 10,000 vehicles per week. So Tesla needs to ramp up production 10 times more from current rate. During his visit last October, CEO Elon Musk said that by the end of 2022, the German Gigafactory should be producing at least 5,000 Model Ys per week, but preferably close to 10,000. So let's see how things will go by the end of this year. And we still have nine more months to go. 
Even if we go from 1000 to uh, 5000, that's still a great advance for Giga Berlin. Now, one thing that is very much important is that Tesla needs to hire more workers to produce that many cars. Um, because with 3000 plus or close to 4000 workers, you can't produce 10,000 cars a week. Um, you need to have at least 10,000 workers at Giga Berlin in order to produce about 10,000 cars. That's what I read in the media. Well, let me know your thoughts. Are you excited about this, friends? This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to this channel for daily Tesla news. We would like to get to 100,000 subscriber goal, and we're now close to uh, 70,000. I would greatly appreciate your help. Uh, so God bless you, everyone. Peace be with all of you, and let's see our next Tesla story. A few days ago, we witnessed the grand opening of Tesla's Giga Berlin factory and the handover of first 30 vehicles by Elon Musk to the first owners, Model Y owners, built at Giga Berlin. Now, how is the production going to ramp up? How many cars will Tesla build and produce in at Tesla Giga Berlin? Automotor and Sport from Germany assumes that shortly after the start of production on Tuesday, 1,000 vehicles per week and the first half of 2000 22 already 30,000 Model Y electric vehicles um, performance version will be produced at Grünheide and we know that at full capacity Tesla says it wants to produce up to half a million vehicle a year in Germany so we're going to take a look at some of the details and some of the numbers of how Tesla is going to ramp up the production and what happens next welcome back friends this is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com if you are here first time please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla coverage. So Jürgen who tweets at Giga Berlin, Giga Factory Berlin Brandenburg on Twitter and has been providing daily information on Giga Berlin has some new facts about Giga Factory Berlin. He says in his today's tweet that currently about 3,500 employees are working here. A couple of days ago last week it was 2,600. Now it looks like Tesla added about 900 more employees at Giga Berlin because Tesla's hiring agent agencies are actively working and hiring people for Giga Berlin. So Jürgen says currently about 3,500 employees are working there at Giga Berlin. He says, look at this, stamping produces a body part in 20 seconds. Like every 20 seconds, a new Tesla Model Y performance body part is produced by stamping. Is, do you guys know how to interpret this? Does that mean that Tesla is building new car every 20 seconds? This doesn't look like that, right? So, um, but if you know how to interpret it, it may be different body parts, and I don't know how many body parts are used for one entire body. I believe the latest I heard was uh, two, rear and front, but I don't know. If you have any ideas what this could mean, stamping produces a body part in 20 seconds, let me know, friends, in the comment section below. You're going to also says 400 robots assemble the body in BIW building. BIW is body in white. And he says second body production line, body production line is under construction. And he says water consumption per vehicle is 2.2 cubic meters. Now don't confuse with the second whole entire production line. He, uh, Jürgen says, uh, it may sound a little misleadingly worded. He says there is a second body line line under construction. The water consumption remains again 2.2 uh, uh, cubic meters. Now, friends, what is interesting is that uh, we know that a couple of days ago on March 22nd, Tesla boss Elon Musk personally handed over the first 30 Model Y vehicles, performance version I believe produced at Giga Berlin, to their new owners. They were given a detailed tour of the factory beforehand. They could request a song for the handover of their car and then celebrate the opening with invited guests. In, in fact, you know what happened? A couple of days ago when I was reporting this handover, I used one of the Tesla videos and uh, the song was requested obviously with one of the owners and when I was posting that video to YouTube, YouTube thought it was copyrighted. Then I had to dispute it saying, look, I didn't use this on myself. It, I'm, I'm reporting on an event and this video was there. So this is part of that, that they were given a detailed tour of the factory before and, and they could request a song for their handover and I think one of these persons 
selected a song from the uh, 80s. Uh, incidentally, only the top model Y performance um, was going to be built at Grunheide at the start. Now, this Gigafactory is eight months late from the previous schedule. The fourth Tesla Gigafactory is also the company's first production site of electric vehicles in Europe and its most advanced, sustainable and efficient factory to date. Now remember that they had Tesla had a production site, actually it was an assembly site in Netherlands. I think it was, it still has for model as assembly line. Uh, they just assembled their cars, not produced, but this is the Giga Berlin is Tesla's first production Gigafactory in Europe. The Gigafactory Berlin is the fifth major Tesla production facility worldwide alongside the plant in Fremont, California and the Gigafactories in Reno, Nevada, Buffalo, New York and Shanghai, China. I think in Buffalo they don't make cars, they only make solar panels. Although Tesla was unable to keep the start of production of Giga Berlin originally planned for July 2021, the new factory was built in record time. After the announcement of November 2019, the construction phase began in spring 2020. The Giga factory combines several production units on its 300 hectare site with a total area of more than 227,000 square meters. Now, let's take a look at what production ramp will look like at Giga Berlin, at least in the first half of 2022. I stress the first half of 2022 because as the production numbers improve, Tesla new employees learn how to build cars faster and better. The numbers are going to continue to change and I'm going to report on that. This is why please subscribe to this channel for daily Tesla breaking news, friends. So according to Tesla, at full capacity, up to 12,000 employees will produce cars, battery cells, batteries, electric motors, plastic parts, seats, and axles at Giga Berlin. The factory currently employs, like I said, 3,000 plus uh, 400 or so people and has produced plenty of pre-series model wise in recent weeks these were not for sale these were for testing or for demo purposes or i once reported that company can use them inside the premises of giga berlin for their needs so they called it trial operation at tesla because the final operating permit had not yet been issued at the time in the first half of 2022 30,000 vehicles are expected to leave the factory. So think of 30,000 vehicles until July 1st from Giga Berlin. Not only Tesla fans around the world are particularly excited about the quality of the vehicles that come from the German Giga factory, expectations are high in this respect, with an expected annual production capacity of 500 vehicles. It was unclear until the end whether the regional water supplier would be allowed to supply a Gigafactory uh, water at all, but on March 4, the administrative court in Frankfurt rejected the approval of the water pumping at the Eggerstorf Foundation for formal reason. Now, here's what I'm going to decide. Uh, look with you. Uh, from now, we are in the uh, end of March. We have April, June, April, uh, May, June. Three months. In three months, Tesla is expected to build 30,000 vehicles. This means Tesla is expected to build about uh, 10,000 vehicles in one month. This means Tesla is probably building, what, 300 vehicles each day and selling 300 vehicles each day. So look, the first day there was 30 vehicle handovers and, and now Tesla should be getting up to 300, 333 vehicles each day on an average to make 10, uh, 30,000 vehicles by the mid of 2022. Do you think these numbers are good? How can they ex uh, impact Tesla? Let me know, friends, in your comment section. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to this channel and stay with us for daily Tesla news. I have more reports coming later today. God bless you, everyone. Peace be to the world and to all of us, to our hearts. And have a blessed day. See you soon in our next report.